Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Eagles News Now. I'm professional wrestler Chris Wild, live from bar 4133, and it is Monday, the Monday of Cowboys Week here in Philadelphia as the Philadelphia Eagles face the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night football. Let's get right into some news that the Eagles released earlier this morning when they said the following players would be taken off the IR and placed on the 21-day practice window. Those players are safety Rudy Ford, linebacker TJ Edwards, offensive lineman Jason Peters, and rookie wide receiver Jalen Rager. Now the Eagles team this year has been the most hurt team in the NFL. And I know every team is going through injuries, but this team that the Eagles have, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Any help on the way um, will be big. Now look, just because these guys are activated onto this 21-day practice window doesn't mean they're going to play. Now, they are going to practice this week. Hopefully, they can get through practice and we can get all of these guys back. I think TJ Edwards is the only lock as he was ready last week to come off. And TJ Edwards, look, the whole linebacking uh, core has struggled this year, and that's being nice. Edwards was playing the best, though, uh, before he got injured in that game against the 49ers. It will be nice to see him come back with Singleton now in their as well. And, of course, Nate Gary running around doing whatever Nate Gary does. Rudy Ford, um, he's depth as a safety. He's better on special teams. He's a special teams ace. Uh, if he comes back, it's not going to make or break the team. The two biggest names here, obviously, are Jason Peters and Jalen Rager. Now, I said that Jason Peters was an offensive lineman. I didn't say guard or tackle because there's a question on where he's going to play. Now, we all know he's a Hall of Fame left tackle. Um, he was forced back in that position earlier this year when Andre Dillard got hurt. The Eagles signed him to play right guard after Brandon Brooks got hurt. Um, I would put Jason Peters at right guard. He practiced the position, according to Doug, did really well um, at it during the offseason and in camp. I'd put him right back there because when they put Nate Herbig at right guard last week, it was a disaster. Nate Herbig played really well at left guard next to Jordan Maialata, who I believe earned his chance at staying at left tackle. I mean, he played against two really tough defenses in Pittsburgh and Baltimore, um, had his worst game against the Giants, and still wasn't that bad. He's been the only bright spot on this offensive line besides Jason Kelsey. Um, and again, I don't know what it is, but Herbig and Mylotta play well next to each other. I'd plug Peters in at right guard. Lane probably isn't going to be able to play for a couple weeks. Matt Pryor is going to have to be your tackle. At the end of that Giants game in the fourth quarter, Matt Pryor held up pretty well. Knock on wood, maybe he can keep that going. And again, if Peters can play well at right guard, it's nothing but a plus. Now let's talk about Jalen Reger, um, rookie wide receiver who, again, he's been injured twice so far in his rookie campaign. During the offseason, he had a shoulder injury. He healed very quickly from that. And now this thumb injury that he was supposed to be sidelined for eight weeks, cast is already off. And he will be practicing this week, so he is a quick healer. Um, I just want to see this guy on the field. You know, everyone knows that I kind of wanted Justin Jefferson in the draft, and he, Justin Jefferson is looking like an absolute beast right now. I think Reger can be a beast as well. He showed the potential. Um, and now with a true number one, it seems like, again, knock on wood with Travis Fulgham, that's going to take uh, some of the um, defense away from Reger where he won't be double teamed. And then you have John Hightower, who also has speed. Uh, Greg Ward, who is great in the slot, and Quez Watkins, if he can ever get on the field, uh, obviously the Eagles are going to like to put J. Jaw back out there. I think you have a decent core at wide receiver. Again, a decent core, not a poor core at wide receiver like we've seen with all these injuries. Um, and again, the Eagles, I know a lot of people out there are saying, look, don't rush these guys back. We're playing the Cowboys. The Cowboys have looked subpar. Look, the Eagles are not good enough to... Uh, just have that kind of statement. They're just not. There's way too many injuries on this team. I want all these guys back as soon as possible, especially Peters and Reger. Um, and I'm not taking the Dallas Cowboys lightly at all. Not here Monday. Even though they looked like the worst team in the league yesterday, the Eagles are not good enough to take any team lightly. And I can't wait to see if these guys can make it through practice. It'll definitely make Sunday night a lot more exciting and possibly stress-free. I know. It's we're gonna be we're gonna be stressed out no, no matter what no, we just are. Anyway, guys, uh, as the news rolls through, I got a lot of stuff planned for Cowboys Week. Stay tuned, stay healthy, uh, subscribe if you haven't, um, and go birds. I'll see you guys later. It's Dallas week next week. 
I'll see you later. That's a huge spider. Ah! It was crawling on my microphone. Just now. That's a huge spider. Ah! It was crawling on my microphone. I am professional wrestler Chris Wilde on a Monday where there were no Eagle games on the fire. But think the Welcome back, everybody, to another video here on Eagles News Now. No, you know what? I'm going to stop. That's good stuff. E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! E-A-T-L-E-S, Eagles! E-A-T-L-E-S, Eag